I'm home. I'm in here. You all right? Mrs. Bradshaw was late collecting me. Oh, no, not again. I'll have to have a word with her. I was the last one left in the schoolyard. I thought she wasn't going to come. I am sorry, darling. I'll tell her about that tomorrow. Hey, guess what I've got for you. What is it? Have a look and see. It's Kevin. It's brilliant. <laughs> I've wanted him for ages. <laughs> Well, I think that deserves the table setting, madam, if you don't mind. Your dad will be home soon. It's good looking. Don't you think? Mm, just my type. Oh, go on and get that table set or I'll have to take him back to the shop. What's for tea? Chicken and chips, all right? Yeah, he's brilliant. In the Gulf today, an Iranian I thought this is it. Oh, this is where I get the sack. <coughs> Oh, I mean, I couldn't believe it, not after the last time. Anyway, he said that he was really pleased with my work and that's why they'd offered me it. Rob, are you listening to me? Sorry, love, what was that? Honestly, I'm talking to you. Mum's going to work full time. What? They've offered me five days. Well, I hope you told him no. I said I'd think it over. Oh, come on, Gail, you know you can't do it. It'll be too much for you. You'll end up with migraines again. Well, if I do, I'll give it up. But it might be different this time. Dawn's older now. Is there any more chicken? On the hard top. I think you're being very silly. Rob, we need the money. Look, if we're ever going to get out of this awful flat, we're going to have to... I told you, next year... Oh, you said that last year! And the year before, and the year before that! <laughs> Oh my God, you frightened me to death. What have you got on? Sarah Jackson wears makeup for school. Well, you look stupid like that. Now go and take it off. Go on. I do you wear makeup? It depends on where I'm going. If I was going to meet someone. A boy? Yes, if I was going to meet a boy, then I would. But if I was just going to school, no way would I start getting made up. Now, can I get on with my own work, please? Who's your boyfriend? Don't, please. I've got to have this in by tomorrow. I'm going to get a detention. No, but you go and watch that off and go and watch the television. Tell me his name and I'll go and watch TV. Ross. Ross? It's a funny name, is he nice? Dawn! I was only asking. Samantha? <laughs> Is a solar activated micro automated non interference hearing apparatus. Manage the lot with how many people? Would you leave off doing that? Um, well, there's comings and goings. There's about. <laughs> I'm fed up with this. A Saturday job would be easier. Ah. I don't <laughs> have to look after you, you know. Unmanned gamma camera. Right, I'm telling your mum has been a real nuisance. And he has a video pup. Called Nick, a mobile independent company. I hate Alison. She's so grumpy. I wouldn't like a boyfriend called Ross. Kevin's a much nicer name. Anyway, Kevin's handsome. But Ross isn't that handsome. You like Kevin? He's coming to see you today, so you've got to look really special. There. You're finished now.
You look really beautiful. He's going to fall in love with you straight away. I just know it. I'm glad I wore the blue dress. It suits me the best because it's the same colour as my eyes. I wonder what he'll say to me when he first sees me. I wonder what I'll say to him. I'll probably say, I'm very pleased to meet you. I'm sure he'll like me. That is, if he doesn't love me. Well, he's bound to do one or the other. Oh well, it's time to go. Hello, I'm Tracy. I'm very pleased to meet you. Gail, okay, you're lying. Why don't you just listen to what I'm saying to you? Why didn't you tell me you'd accepted the job? Why deliberately hide it from me? I told you it was just a trial run to see if I could manage it. So when's this trial run over then? I've no idea. And who's been looking after Dawn? Or am I not supposed to ask that? Alison, the girl upstairs has been looking after her for a couple of hours each evening just until I get home. Bradshaw still picks her up from school, all right? All right to know. Oh, I just knew you'd stop going on about it. That's why I didn't say anything. Why do you have to shout all the time? Go back in your room, darling. No, come here, Dawn. Come on, you're all right. I just want you to tell me something truthfully. Come on, nobody's going to be cross with you. You just have to say, oh, honestly... Oh, Rob, leave her out of this. I want you to tell me truthfully now. How you feel about Mummy going to work all the time? Wouldn't you rather she was here with you? That is not fair, Rob. Why isn't it? Why shouldn't Dawn be allowed her say it affects her? Come on, Princess, it's simple. Do you like Alison looking after you, or would you rather have Mummy here? I am not having this. I am going out to get some fish and chips for tea. You just can't stand to hear the truth, that's all. Be fish and chips every night. I like fish and chips. They're not good for you. Is that your tummy rumbling? You should have eaten your tea. Sometimes grown-ups can be really silly, so don't take any notice of us. I wouldn't do anything to hurt you. You know that, don't you? I just want us to have that nice house which we keep promising you, with a garden, and swing. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Are you going to give me a smile, Lenny? That's better. Good night, darling. I love being here with you. I love you being here. I think we'll have fish fingers for tea. I love fish fingers. So do I, with tomato sauce and chips. I've got something for you, a present. How did you know that my favorite color was blue? Because it's the colour of your eyes. It's brilliant. I'll wear it forever and ever. No, it doesn't go on that finger, silly girl. I want to marry you. It's an engagement ring. You see, 
I happen to be in love with you and have been since the very first time I saw you. We'll never argue or fight or fall out, will we? Never. I could never argue with you. I love you too much. We'll always be happy for the rest of our lives. I promise. We could have a little puppy. And a kitten if you wanted. I'll have to think about it and then I'll decide. I can't make up my mind right away. Of course. I understand that. But I'll keep pestering you till you do. Why isn't Dawn up? She's not feeling well. Who's looking after her? Alison. She's got an occasional day. She's looking after her this morning, and I'm coming home at dinner time. All right? What if she's not better tomorrow? Then I suppose I'll just have to sort something out. Seems to me you better make your mind up what you're doing. Have you decided yet? Say it again. I love you and I want you to marry me. And the other bit. And we'll never ever row or fall out. Yes, then. What? Yes, I will marry you. What's the matter with my little princess, then? I've got a headache. Ooh, we can't have that, can we? I'll tell you what, I'll bring you a special present when I come home from work, all right? I want Tracy's wedding dress. Oh, you don't want that. You want something you can play with. I have to have it. I'll get you something better than that. You see, something you've been wanting for a long time. Look, I've got to go or I'll be late. Be a good girl for Alice, eh? Is she all right? Yeah, yeah, she's fine. Close your eyes. All right, you can open them now. Oh, it's brilliant. Is it yours? Ours. And it's going to take us around the whole world on our honeymoon. That's brilliant. Oh, how fast can it go? As fast as you want. Dawn. we get married? As soon as I get my dress. I don't know what's the matter with her. She's not normally like this. I've hardly seen her. She's been in her room the whole time. That's funny. It's not like her. She's just been playing with her dolls all the time. I think I'll give the doctor a ring. You don't think I'm fussing, do you? doing home at this time? I wanted to see how Dawn was. Checking I was home on time. Checking my daughter was all right. I'd better go. Hello, sweetheart. Are you feeling any better? Where's Tracy's wedding dress? You wait till you see what I've got for you. There. I told you I'd bring you something special, didn't I? I want Tracy's wedding dress. Hey, lady, I've just bought you a very expensive pair of roller boots that you've been wittering on about for ages. Well, now you've got them. There you are. Well, come on, try them on. She's not well, are you, darling? 
Well, I'll take them back tomorrow if that's the way you feel. that you've been buying and more of that stupid doll stuff. Well, it's better than roller boots. Where's she going to play on them? On the main road? Look, I have to go now. I've got some work to do. Oh. Well, thanks very much for looking after her for me. Will you be needing me tomorrow after school? Right, uh, I'd better be off then. Bye, Mr Daniels. Bye. Who else have you got to pay off? What's that supposed to mean? Well, you're buying Dawn off. You don't want to be with her, so you buy her those pathetic dolls. You're buying Alison's time to look after her. I mean, where's it all going to end? Is there going to be a price for everything? If you don't like it, you know what you can do with it, don't you? No, worry, I ain't tempted. Good. Everything's going to be all right. This is your special day. When you promise forever and ever that everything you want will come true. You look like a beautiful princess. All you need now. I'm sorry I was an old grump and shouted at you. I didn't mean to. I thought you'd like the boots. I want to tell you something, Dawn. I don't want you to be worried by this. But I'm going to go and stay with Grandma Daniels for a bit, just while me and Mum sort a couple of things out. I'll come and see you soon, see how you are. All right. Are you going to talk to me? Well, it's nothing for you to worry about, do you understand? It's something between me and Mum, nothing to do with you. You're still my little princess. Even if I do shout at you. You promise to always love one another and always be happy and never ever row. We do. And never sulk for days and days and stop talking to each other. And do you promise that you won't start shouting at each other and that sometimes you'll laugh together in sickness and in health and for richer and for poorer and for as long as you may live? We do. Then I announce you man and wife. All right, you can kiss each other now. do with you causing me all this worry I think you've just gone off talking really haven't you I don't blame you sometimes I don't feel like talking either I'm thinking of asking Sarah over for tea tomorrow would you like that
You're not going to answer me, are you? I know you're listening to me, though. Anyway, you didn't notice I've had my hair done. You used to brush my hair for hours and hours when you were a little girl. Do you remember? I used to like that. <laughs> I nearly fell asleep once. Are you going to brush it again for me now? Oh, go on. Here you are. Come on. That's right. That feels nice. Give it a good brush. I want to look really special tonight because I'm having dinner with this fantastic fella. Oh, he's a real stunner. You'll just love him. He's got the nicest smile, twinkly eyes. Oh, what a stupid thing to do. You could have broken something. I don't know how on earth I'm going to decide. Should I wear it short or long? I'm going to be really fit when I finish my training. Nobody will be fitter or have bigger muscles than me. It does look really beautiful long, but then short frames my face and makes me look cute. But then I am cute anyway. People say that to me all the time. Hello. People say I'm beautiful as well. I think I'll go for a swim in the pool when I finish training, and then I'll go for a drive in my brand new Jeep. I said hello. Maybe I'll go for a drive in my brand new Jeep first, and then I'll go for a swim. Swimming tones up all the muscles. It's a good Don't way to keep in good shape. Like I can do I about 40 you lengths of the pool easily. It's, it's no like problem. I, mean, I could probably swim to America if I wanted to. But I've been really to America. Really in fact, me. I've been all over the world. Everything I do, Listen I do it so You should look after her. Why is it always up to me? Because it's your job. Why is it my job? If you're so bothered about her, you look after her. Stop it! Stop it! Shut stop up! It. Stop it, will you? Shut up! Shut up! Stop it! Stop it! It's not it. my job to look after her. Well, it's not mine either. It is your no, job. No, it isn't. Stop it! Stop it, will you? Stop it! Dawn! Dawn, oh, darling! Darling, stop it's it. all right, it. Darling, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Stop it! Mummy's here. It. It's all right. Stop it, darling. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, Mummy's here, Mummy's here. Stop it, stop it. It's all right, no. darling. It was only a dream. I'm arguing. Who are you talking about, Princess? I said, Kevin, they were shouting. It was just a dream. Right. Well, I'll tell you what, they won't frighten you anymore. They're going in the bin. No, don't do that. Well, we'll just put them away for a bit, shall we? You don't need them, Dawn. I'm coming home. We're going to sort things out and be a proper family again. Ah, oh, you'll see. Everything will be different from now on. Come on, Rob. The removal man's getting impatient. Yeah, what's the matter with him? We're getting paid enough, isn't he? Come on, Dawn. Don't dawdle. You'll have lots of new friends in our new house and garden. With a swing in it. Yes, come on. We'll never argue or fight or fall out, will we? Never. I could never argue with you. We'll always be happy for the rest of our lives. I promise. <laughs>